actually working at the 349th um, wing right now. Being in charge of travel vouchers makes Staff Sergeant Emily Johnson an airman's best friend. So when they go on travel and they come back, they have to file to get travel reimbursement. After a tour of duty at Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan, Johnson decided to become an anesthesiologist. So on most days, she's doing this, leaving work and driving to class. But just because she's in administration doesn't mean she hasn't learned a thing or two about trauma. So we have to stay um, updated with our um, basic life-saving um, skills, pretty much like CPR and pretty much first aid. Something she never thought she'd have to use outside a war zone until the evening of January 22nd. Now an emergency, what are you reporting? Hi, um, I have someone who, um, whose car broke down in the middle of the carpool lane. That's Emily Johnson's kind of voice on the 911 call. What kind of car was she in? In a silver infinity. Along with the voice of the stalled car's driver, Johnson kept the driver in her own car safely away from danger. At that point, I saw cars hit the back of her car. Okay. Someone just hit her car. There's an accident. The drivers of those two cars checked for damage. A truck hit their cars and sent the men flying. <laughs> Okay, uh, yes, can we get an ambulance, please? We have two children in the car that was hit. He had gotten hit and he flew over the other side of the freeway. One man was thrown over the median into the other lanes of traffic. His foot was squirting blood initially, and so I told him to give me his belt, and so he did. Um, I was going to use it as a tourniquet because that's something that we have seen in, and learned in training. Um, but however, I like reassessed his foot, and it wasn't bleeding bad enough to where I would need to tie it off. The other driver was thrown behind the wrecked cars. Johnson held the man in place until help would arrive. Maybe like five to seven minutes. Yeah, and this gentleman only spoke uh, Spanish and I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I haven't taken Spanish in my college classes yet. So I was trying to talk to him and say whatever I could to calm him down as he was still awake. And within just a few minutes, it was over with all three people surviving because of Emily Johnson's actions. I've just always had a heart for helping people no matter where I'm at. You know, I would hope that someone would do the same for me if I was in their situation. And so I just try to pay it forward. Paying it forward, this time off the battlefield and on the freeway.